Jesus said, <laughs> when you pray, say, Our Father. Our Father. And he repeated that so consistently. So I'm like, okay. So he came to diffuse the concept because that, that concept, you see, most of when I read my Bible, I, I pause and I ask questions. And it's a good thing to do. Don't just read and jump over. You are, you are, it's like, okay, I've got 15 minutes to do devotion. Read, read, read. 40 minutes. Let me find something that will do three, four minutes to make up 15 minutes. Oh, damn. She is easy. I'm out. Nah. Take your time. If you ask my wife, she'll tell you. There are sometimes, for the last year, I read only one chapter of the entire Bible. One chapter. Every time I wake up, I will be in chapter 8 and read and close it. Yes, I, I, I play the Bible on audio in my car, but actual reading, because the, the, the revelation and the understanding that I was getting there was too mind boggling. I couldn't move on. I, was, I kept coming to it. I kept coming, and I wasn't getting bored of it. Okay. So he revealed himself to the Jews as a God because. The Jews see Abraham as their father. They saw Abraham as their father. That's what he said to come and say that your father Abraham, he saw my days and he rejoiced. To them, God was a certain scary creature. Hallelujah. Then comes this man and he's telling them that the father, they, they, your, your, to, to them, God was a friend of their father. God, God was their father's friend. Because Abraham was a friend of God. So he was their father's friend. And Jesus has come and he's trying to tell them, your father's friend is your father. <laughs> so when you pray, say, our father who is in heaven, hallowed be thee, the could be your name. And on and on and on and on and on. Are we clear? Yeah. So if, if you don't remember anything, just remember that I said, Jesus came to manifest the father to us. And why it is important is so that we can understand the heart of God and stop seeing him as this taskmaster who is ready and just standing by to always be, you know, he used to do that to the Israelites. People would say, but what we forget is every Old Testament scripture that you read, if you fail to define it and interpret it in the light of the new covenant, we walk in error. Because he said that it was all a shadow. Shadow, a shadow, a shadow. And when the covenant of Jesus' blood was consummated or was made complete, everything gets interpreted in the light of it. And there are tons and tons of New Testament scriptures to prove this point. Okay. So, the love. And I couldn't find a better story to explain this than what we just read. The guy, what he did, I say, is an equivalent of him telling the dad that you, you are wasting too much time, die. I can't wait for you to die for me to have my inheritance. That's what he said. So give me my portion of it and I'll go. And he took it and he left. He left. Bible said he spent on riotous living. So that, that, that boy was a son. And if you believe that what makes a son is the fact that he accepts Jesus, then he wasn't an unbeliever. Hallelujah. Amen. He was a son because afterwards he said, even the father said, a son is at home all times. Yes, unbelievers that they are all, they are all, I don't know if you have to call them creatures or yes, the creation of God or the children of God. But what qualifies as for sonship is in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, 10. He says that with the heart, do not say in your heart who will go to heaven to bring Christ down. Or do, do, do not say who will go under the earth as if Jesus is a, it's an impossible mission for him to have been resurrected. But if you shall believe in your heart and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, you shall be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a bit of tradition that's setting on that scripture, but I don't want to go into that. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to go into that. But for the benefit of us, when you go to evangelize to people, don't tell them. People already know their sinners. 
that they need to find out how what God has put in them to make them stand up as children. And when I discovered this, it liberated me.